Five things a women's health physical therapist wish you knew. Number one, when you go to the bathroom, I need you to not hover over a toilet. You see, I need you to sit down all the way on the toilet seat and relax your pelvic floor so that your bladder can contract and the urethra opens and that urethra pierces your pelvic floor. If you are hovering over a toilet, you aren't going to be able to relax your pelvic floor. Also, don't try to force the urine out by hurrying. Don't bear down. You are in not such a hurry that you need to put pressure on your pelvic floor to speed the urination up. No, bad, bad. Like that is not good for your pelvic floor. You don't need more pressure than what you already have. Your vaginal tissue needs estrogen. And there are two times in your life I need you to know this. When you are postpartum, you're going to have a drastic estrogen drop. You might have increased leaking, you might have vaginal dryness, and that's because your estrogen has dropped. No amount of topical estrogen is gonna change that. You need to use more lubrication. Now, the other group of people that will have vaginal dryness and stuff because of the estrogen drop is perimenopause and menopause. Those women, if they did a topical hormone vaginally, would totally help that. And yes, they should also use more lubrication. Your lack of lubrication does not mean that it is your partner's fault. It is blood flow and hormones. But yes, if you were mad at them, that would also apply. But there are times when it is chemistry. Your pelvic floor can have two types of main issues. Hypertonic, meaning your muscles are too tight, or hypotonic, meaning it's too loose. As we age and our body changes, your muscles go all over the place. So seeing a women's health physical therapist for a pelvic floor dysfunction is the way to figure out which one is bothering you because Kegels doesn't fix everything. Number three, you should not be having pain with intercourse. If you are having pain with intercourse, I want you to talk to your doctor, I want you to talk to your physical therapist, and I want you to find out why. It could be because of your trigger points in your pelvic floor, it could be because of vaginal dryness, it could be because of prolapse, it could be because of endometriosis, interstitial cystitis. There are lots of reasons women can have pelvic pain, but you shouldn't suffer. You should talk to your doctor, you should see a women's health physical therapist. The fourth thing I wish you knew is that hypermobility happens a lot more than what people realize. At least 10% of the country has EDS, maybe even more. Women who experience hernias, pelvic organ prolapse, increased diastasis recti, SI joint dysfunction, crazy leaking, joints popping in and out of place, you probably are hypermobile, you probably have hypermobile EDS, you are probably underdiagnosed. If you just had one baby and you just had huge prolapse, you probably have EDS. And I want more people to know that connective tissue, the spider webby stuff that surrounds our muscles is affected by hormones. So ladies, if you have a secret collagen disorder and you didn't know about it, and now you're a hot mess because you had a baby or because your hormones are changing, it's that's why I need you to talk to your doctor or your physical therapist. And the last thing I want to tell you is that as much as I hate exercise, yes, I'm a physical therapist, I hate exercise. We have to move our bodies daily because movement is medicine. Now, what type of exercise you need to do to fix your body, that depends, but you have to move. We have so much amazing technology. We now have to program in exercise into our life. And as much as it pains me to say it, you have to be intentional with your movements. Hit the plus sign and follow for more women's health and wellness tips. Bye.